January the 1st is the beginning of the civil year. How do we Catholics celebrate January the 1st? Is there a special liturgical celebration for this day? Actually, yes. This is the celebration of Mary, the Mother of God. Probably for many people, this feast, which is so beautiful and in some sense so recent, passes unobserved and in, in some obscurity. But it deserves better attention. What we have in this feast is nothing less than the root of all Marian celebrations. I mean, everything that we have to celebrate about when we speak of the Blessed Virgin Mary, everything comes from her vocation, from that what was bestowed on her, coming from God. And everything that was bestowed on her came because of one thing, because she was elected to be the mother of the Messiah. So actually, this humble celebration, and I say humble because many people are dealing with other aspects of their lives and they are unconcerned about this liturgical feast, but this humble celebration is comparable to the root of the tree. You don't see it frequently, but without that, you couldn't have the tree standing firm and beautiful. So everything that is standing and beautiful and fruitful, everything that we confess about the mother of Christ is connected to the fact that she is the mother of Christ. And that is what we celebrate today. But besides that great motif for celebration, we also have two other aspects. This is a day for reflecting upon peace in the world. And popes, going back at least to Paul VI, have willed to recognize this day as the last echo of the nativity. I mean, when Christ was born, the choirs of angels sang peace to the world. It hasn't happened yet, which means that it is about to happen, which means that we have to reflect, reflect upon peace and we have to help build peace in the world. And we have, best of all, we have to pray for peace, for the gift of peace coming to this earth so that Christmas, Christmas's message truly becomes a reality everywhere and for every human being. So now we have two aspects of January the 1st. We have the celebration of Mary as the mother of God, and we have reflection and prayer for peace in the world. The third aspect is about blessing. The first reading of today, taken from the book of Numbers, explicitly mentions that it is the teaching that Moses received so that the Israelites were able to bless each other in a way that was pleasing to God. It is not only the human desire of goodness for other human beings, it is invoking the name of God so that everyone, each and every one, receives the same share of that great love that God has brought to this earth. So best wishes to everyone, and I hope that the richness of January the 1st really, really comes to you and to each one that is important and loved by you.